Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about how we wire a light fixture with red, black, and white wires. You will commonly see this on a number of installation in residential homes and commercial homes. So stick around and we'll talk about it. Now, your basic common light fixture is installed with usually a two wire, a white, a black, and a ground. However, us electricians sometimes get creative and we'll run a three wire, which is a black, a white, and a red. We call this a three wire and we use it for a number of different purposes. The first method that we use is usually a feed through source. So what you will see is a black, a white and a red. The white is our neutral or identified conductor. The black is usually used to feed through to some plugs or another bank of lights. And the red is usually used to switch the light that you see inside the light box with the three wire in it. Now, this light box can be a little confusing. However, I've done this on purpose so I can show you an example. So basically we have a three wire which has the white, the black, the red, and the ground coming up from our switch. From that, we have going to another source. So what I have done, you can see on this light, I have the red and the white, and then I'm switching the rest of my shop lights on the black. So these, this black actually goes to all these shop lights out here. This red actually goes to this light. So what I've done, is inside the box, you can see I've done my grounds up. The neutrals are all tied together, which go on with a tail to the back of the light. The black goes on to the black going out to the other light bank. And the red goes exactly to this light fixture here. Never mind these other ones, because they'll just get confused. It's just these that I'm talking about for today. So I wanted to show you that that's a simple way that we use a three wire to switch two banks of lights. Three wires are commonly used in older rewire homes. And the reason for this is because the electrician will usually feed the light circuit and drop a three wire down to the switch. That allows them to go further and add plugs. So what we usually do is we keep the live permanently black and we will switch the red. So chances are, if you see a three wire, your red is usually switched and your black is usually live power. You can confirm this with a voltage tester or a multimeter. I wouldn't really use one of those non-contact voltage ticks in this case because sometimes it's hard to tell when you have power flowing and when you don't. Another situation that we may use these in is that when we feed from the box with a three wire up, switch the red and continue on with the black and the white to plugs or outlets throughout the room. This saves on actual wiring, so we don't need to run all those extra wires because in turn, a piece of 14.3 is much more cost effective than running two 14.2s. So we hope you like this short video today of a description of how to wire a red, black, and a white in a light fixture. These are methods that we do if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this, and we'll see you on the next one.